is nothing we can do that could possibly stop the development in technology or robotics. But let's be very careful about this and clear. We don't want to stop development in robotics or in technology. We just want to make sure that we do have the systems in place and we do have the regulation in place to, to see this development further. The EPP group's Therese komodini kakia she spoke after the European Parliament's Legal Affairs Committee, approved a report she co-authored on efforts to make robotics a tool to grow the economy and create jobs. Europe is a leader in industrial robotics, 25% of the global market, but there's also fear among the public of the impact. The usual question we get is, will robotics or will robots take over from humans in every aspect of life? And I think there we have ethical questions. And the, re the report strongly suggests that the development of robotics and what robotics can do and should be able to do must be set within a framework of values. The report, which now goes before the full parliament for approval, includes wide-ranging issues about robotics. They include liability rules as well as ethical questions, interoperability, safety and security, data protection, driverless vehicles and drones, care and medical robots, human repair and enhancement, and education and employment. The EPP group wants rules that don't stifle robotics and artificial intelligence as a source of innovation and job creation. We're using robotics in care. We are using robotics in facilitating the integration of persons with disabilities in employment. The EU says when workers team up with robots, productivity rises 85 percent. Robots can carry out work that could be hazardous to workers, but many Europeans also fear automation could put them out of a job. What type of jobs will we need? The, com the Commission has already indicated that by 2020, 90 percent of all our jobs will at least need a basic digital knowledge. This attaches or links on to what are we doing in education. How are we preparing our younger generation in providing them with such digital skills? The EPP group's Michal Boni is on the Civil Liberties, Justice and Home Affairs Committee. He says existing laws on ethics and privacy can already apply to robotics, but the report also calls for new protections. Uh, in those relations between uh, persons, humans and robots, we need a very special uh, uh, solutions uh, related to uh, security uh, because uh, when, uh, for example, robots will take care on elderly people or on children, so we need to ensure the 200% uh, 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 guarantees for uh, security. The EU sees the need to be proactive on robotics, both to remain competitive and to address concerns about ethics, legal issues and employment. MEPs hope their report will help to ease those concerns and bring concrete responses to help ensure that robotics is a net job creator. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.